The Wall Street Journal's John Rockoff and Ed Silverman have a great article on the recent price gouging coming from pharmaceutical companies. They say, quote, On February 10th, Valiant Pharmaceuticals International, Inc. bought the rights to a pair of life-saving heart drugs. The same day, their list prices rose by 525% and 212%. Neither of the drugs, Nitropress or Isupril, was improved as a result of costly investment in lab work and human testing. Nor was uh, manufacture of the medicine shifted to an expensive new plant. The big change? The drug's ownership. Listen to this quote. Our duty is to our shareholders and to maximize the value, said a company spokeswoman. More pharmaceutical companies are buying drugs than they, uh, that they see as undervalued than raising the prices. It is one of a number of industry tactics, along with companies regularly upping the prices of their older medicines and launching new treatments at once unheard of sums, driving up the costs of drugs. Since 2008, Branded drug prices have increased 127% compared with an 11% rise in the consumer price index. That's incredible. So to sum this up for you so you really understand the gist of what's happening here, this is how the Daily Beast described this. Quote, Big Pharma buys rivals to gouge patients. That's exactly what it is. So think about what's happening here. Just to kitchen table this so you understand it, imagine imagine there's um, a pencil salesman. <laughs> terrible, terrible way to, to describe this, but nonetheless, I continue. Um, and the pencil salesman has a deal with all of the schools in a county. All the public schools, all the private schools, all the schools across the board. And they sell their pencils for some ridiculously high cost, a dollar a pencil. Then there's another company that opens up, and it sells the same pencils, but it sells them for five cents above what they bought it for. So they bought each pencil for 10 cents, and they're selling it for 15 cents. So what this article is describing is that, in our analogy here, you have the uh, pencil company that has the deal with all of the different schools, they go up to the, the new pencil company that's selling at a much cheaper price, and they say, here's the deal, what's your price? And then that company goes, oh, I don't know, two million? And they go, sold. And then they buy, buy out the competitor, and then they take all those pencils, and then they continue to sell them at uh, a dollar per pencil, or actually they can, they'll up the price to a dollar and 35 cents, or a dollar and 55 cents, or whatever the fuck. And then the people in the schools go, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck just happened here? You had a monopoly. Somebody came in in a competitive market and started undercutting you, right? And started selling the selling the the pencils at a reasonable price. And so you decided, well, fuck it. Let's. I'll just buy them out. Continue to have a monopoly and jack my prices up even more. That what I described is exactly what's going on with medicine, with pharmaceutical companies. They see cheaper products that are essentially the same and have the same effect on people and cure the same things and they go well we could let them continue to sell it and they could hurt our bottom line or we could just buy them out up front here and jack up the price even more and screw over uh, everybody involved and this is what's called price gouging look uh, we have laws against this shit we have anti-monopoly laws antitrust laws and things of that nature and, you know, anytime you have an anti-competitive market, we, on the books at least, have justification and legal standing to go in and fight back against this and break up the companies that do it or punish them uh, criminally or with fines or what have you. But we don't do it anymore. Why don't we do it anymore? Because ever since the Ronald Reagan era and onward, people act like there are no antitrust or anti-monopoly laws or anti-competitive laws on the books. People like, what do you mean? I don't see a problem here. Just let them fucking be douchebags and corner the market and price gouge absolutely everybody in town. Look, understand, man, this would be a different conversation in all seriousness if we were just talking about something like pencils. But we're not. We're talking about pharmaceutical companies. We're talking about life-saving medicine in many respects. And when you price people out of the market and they can't afford it or their insurance won't cover it, you're putting people's lives in jeopardy. You're putting their lives in danger so that your punk ass can maximize profits even more. 
I'm not anti-profits, okay? It, it obviously depends on what kind of industry we're talking about here. Within a reason, should you make a certain amount of money so you can live okay if you're selling different things? Absolutely. But if you have something that's a life or death matter, if you have something that involves health, why should that be in a in a uh, an anti-competitive marketplace? But more importantly, why should it be for profit specifically in that realm? Look, understand that other nations have decided on issues of health. Fuck the profit motive. It's out of the question because you set up a perverse incentive structure when you do that. You've set up a system where you can allow somebody who's, uh, you know, uh, a moral midget to come out and say, well, all we care about is our profit and we're admitting that. And again, the issue is pills that save lives. And they're like, well, I don't see a problem with this. I'm just trying to maximize profits. If you have a system that allows for people like that to function within the system, they're going to function within the system. On some issues, police, firefighters, some insurance issues, infrastructure, uh, you name it, there shouldn't be the profit motive. Prisons is another example. Because in that area, the incentive structure is too fucked up, and you're, making, you're inviting a rapacious system that screws over the majority of people. You just can't do it, man, when it comes to health care, when it comes to health insurance, when it comes to many different aspects of pharmaceutical companies. You cannot have it for profit, and you certainly, if you have it for profit, you have to at least have it in a competitive way so you get cheaper goods that actually are, are, are quality products. But we have a for-profit system, and we don't even have the competitive aspect anymore. We just have pharmaceutical companies buying up their competition and pricing people out of the market and uh, making it so that these drugs are unaffordable, so you either go bankrupt or you die. It's ridiculous, and it needs to be fixed immediately.